Hi guys, I'm here to tell you the story. It's a sad story about a reborn. The story of this reborn's life is not... Ah, oh, anyways, I bought this baby um, about a year ago, last summer, on eBay. And when I got the baby, it was not as described at all. And on the baby's foot, right here, was it this foot? Or this foot? Oh, it was this foot. And it said twelve ninety nine in marker. So I had to do zit cream in the sun, all that. And because, um, and then I messaged the seller and you could tell it was an experienced seller. And I knew it was a used doll, but I told her, I said, you know, you must have bought this at a Goodwill or a thrift store or something because it had twelve ninety nine in Sharpie on her foot. And I'm thinking, I don't know what thrift store sells reborns, but... And she's like, oh no, that's her kit number. And I'm like, like I'm an idiot. And I'm like, no, that's not how it works. So, um... She was just denying or whatever. So I fixed it all up. And, um, last fall... A family member came to me and right before Christmas I needed the money and they wanted um, previous to that my aunt had bought in uh, dolls for um, her granddaughters and she made sure they were very well cared for and everything so I wasn't that leery I thought, you know, they're going to be well cared for. You can see I'm using the gray magic eraser. A little piece of that. Um, these are the ones I get from China. They're not the white ones. They're gray on eBay. And they work miracles. So, um... Fast forward. A couple weeks ago, my mom got a hold and was talking to me. And she's like, you wouldn't believe what I got. And I said, what do you mean? She says... I got a reborn. I'm like, you got a reborn? What do you mean? And, uh, I looked, I was like, are you kidding me? And she's like, yeah, the kids outgrew them. And, um, the grandmother found one of them they threw out in the rain. And they're just, like, tossing around. And so I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> I know it's kind of strange, but it's like, we're hoping that they're cared for when we, you know. So anyways, I'm like, of everything I went through to fix that doll, it already been through heck. You know, the first mother had given it away to a thrift store or whatever. Somebody made a buck on her on eBay on me. And, you know, okay. And it was an older cat. And I just really liked her. When I had her, I called her Rachel. And this one's pointed toe, kind of like a ballerina foot. Well, I've spent like the last half hour cleaning her up. She had marks all over her, like marker, scuffs, um, like right there you can see one. That's like, you know, just being banged around. And this will not take off the factory paint, it'll just take off like smudges, or not the factory paint, but the artist paint. Because you can still see the veining and all that. And the creasing. So, I mean, you don't do it roughly. You do it gently. And, um, so I'm just looking for marks. I mean, there was, like, grim and grime. Like, you can tell right there. And then it just, like... I don't know. I had a bigger piece of the magic eraser right here. So, um, my mom's like, yeah, the kid wanted money, and I offered her a little bit of money, and she took it. I'm like, what? 
So my mom's like, yeah, if you want to give me that, you know, give me some money, I'll, t I'll take it. I'm like, yeah, I'll take her back. So I got her back. And she's been wrapped in a blanket in my room. And I just haven't... I've been dreading even looking at her. Because, you know, it's like... Reborn abuse, you know? <laughs> Especially one that you've had before. And you went to the care to fix it up. And everything. So... Um... Luckily, her body wasn't damaged. She wasn't in moisture, things like that. So we'll go to the arms. Like you can see where the creasing's supposed to be. And the creasing, you can see like grime. Like where they have just gotten her dirty or, you know, scuffed her around. I've been trying to get in every crease and cranny and all that her nails are still tipped and all that it's not like um i did find some marker on the forehead i was like especially you know the money that the parents paid to buy her from me it's like why but to each their own i guess um my son has a reborn creamy since he was five and she's probably in better condition than most adult collectors i mean he babies her so i got her back and just this sleeper and you can see the sleeper has a big stain there and i mean which that sleeper just gotta go in the trash but so um her face she's got the sweetest face and um, I can see she's dirty up in her nose. I need to do that. But you can see her eyelashes. Her eye is offset. Her eyelash is completely gone. And this one is hanging by a thread. So I might as well just take them out. Because I'm going to have to get new ones. But I need to turn this eye somehow, and I need to clean in the eye without, um, I, without, you know, tearing it apart and ungluing the socket and all that. And why can't I get this eyelash? It's like, there, there, there it is. So there's her eyelashes. But, I mean, there's a little more cleaning I need to do. Her eyebrows are fine. There was, um... A big mark up here that I got off. I'm telling you, these gray magic erasers work wonders. And then, you know, I need to clean in her ears. You can see literally sand. Like outside dirt sand in her ears. That's why she's on a blanket on my bed. Because I don't want her directly on my bed. Okay, sorry. I just throw that in the trash. So... The worst of it, I just tried to brush her hair a little bit. It was matted. And I put a headband on her so you can tell she was a girl. And you can see the, the sand dirt right there in her eye. You see that? So, sadly, she had really cute hair. As you can see on the top, she had this much thickness all over her head. And I will show you, her hair has been, you can see all the holes, her hair has been ripped out. Yes, ripped out. Let me flip her over. See, there's like dirty right there. So, I mean, this is going to, oops. Match eraser is coming apart. This is going to be a more extensive cleaning. I'm going to have to get like a little toothbrush or something to get inside her ears. So she is, let me see, um, Bethany Sculpt by The Cradle. She's a sought out or er, 
sold out sculpt. Oh, and this. I might have to use the acne cream again because they chose to write on her with pen. Believe me, when I saw her, my stomach just sank because these magic erasers will not take that. I mean, it's in. So I'm going to have to try and do the zit cream Oops, in the sun again to try and get that ink to come out. And I'm going to have to try and get some rooting needles and try and root her again a hair color to match this. And looks like a little bit of pen there. But this is the worst. That's the only thing that I can't get out unless I try the zit cream again. But she is a very cute baby. When I had her you can tell she's got wrinkles in her forehead right here. And when I had her, um, I had her named Rachel. But she needs a serious bath to be taken all apart. See, like, right there, there's, like, some kind of, I don't know if it's ink. Or just grime. My magic eraser is drying apart. Or falling apart and drying up at the same time. And I may have to take zit cream too. But I mean, her veining and stuff is fine. She just really needs to be washed. So I'm thinking about just taking her off this body and doing her all over, washing her, all that and putting her on a new body after she's all rooted and stuff. So I need to find rooting needles and because I don't know what I did with mine. I had a couple. I need to find hair color this light sandy brown and try my hand at rooting her after I get her cleaned up. I mean, there's some dirt in her lips. See right there, you can see it. I mean, people always say, oh, it's rude to say that kids shouldn't have reborns. Yeah, maybe some, if they're very responsible and supervised. But this is for a warning. These are not child's toys to be tossed about like a $10 Walmart no, so she's had a rough life from the beginning and then after this experience I said that's it she's not going anywhere I'm going to keep her because I was like yep I will buy her back I had to rescue her and um, she just has the sweetest little face except this eye is cross eyed right now but uh She's a long sold out sculpt and she's got quite the history and I want to make it a better history. So, um, you know, she's been around, but it's not, you know, it's not a finger missing, it's not a tear in the vinyl, anything major, thankfully. So, um, just some zit cream, rerouting, clean her good, and all that, and she will be a new baby. Huh. I had her as Rachel, and I used to think it was cute because this foot goes like that, and this one's kind of like a ballerina foot. And I believe when I saw the picture of this sculpt on a site, they had her... Um, I think it was this leg was crossed and this one was down the way she was sitting and she has an open hand and a closed hand so 
and I believe the cradle is a German um, company but she will get a good washing and have a good home huh say if you have any advice or some hair can you let my mommy know <laughs> huh say first she gets the eBay nightmare and then she has to come rescue me but you were already here huh I wasn't gonna let her just be tossed in a toy box or thrown outside somewhere or whatever she just needed to get rescued so I couldn't rescue the other ones I don't know what happened to them because she had bought like five from me so I got to rescue this little girl she had quite the history like I said before and say so we fixed you before we can do it again huh resilient little one so even if we have to clean her up and put a hat on her till I can root her but uh I don't want to have to unglue that eye to turn it but uh, anyways so that is the story of this little girl mm-hmm it seems like I weighted her quite heavy. I'm going to have to re her as well. So, thank you very much. And dolly hugs. And wish this little one well. That we can get her well. And, as usual. I was going to say happy hauling, but it isn't. So it's dolly hugs. <laughs> oh, she's going to sleep. She's going to take a nap. She's going to get wrapped back up until uh, I can work on her some more.